Hi, and welcome to the MSAG video in which we will focus on conclusion drawing using visual data. In the decision-making subtest of the UCAT, there is usually a question in which a conclusion must be drawn by interpreting either a table or a graph. We will go through one of each such question and demonstrate how to answer these questions efficiently. Conclusion drawing questions are easily identifiable as they tend to ask you to place yes if the conclusion does follow and to place no if the conclusion doesn't follow for five statements. Remember, the conclusion has to be completely correct and not sometimes or possibly correct for you to choose the answer yes. Let's have a go at two examples. Okay, how did you find that? Let's go through the answers. Statement one, no. The study shows that calorie restriction with exercise is a more effective method of weight loss in this group than only calorie restriction alone after 24 weeks. Did you put yes or no? The correct answer is no, as the blue line representing calorie restriction with exercise is marginally higher on the graph than the calorie restriction alone group, represented by the orange line at 24 weeks. In other words, there is slightly less weight loss in the exercise and calorie restriction group. This means that the statement is in fact unsupported, despite this feeling counterintuitive, i.e. you would probably expect the people who exercise and had lower calorie intake to lose more weight. Statement two, there is no mention of the specific health benefits of running in the question. Also, the phrase health benefits is vague. This study looks at body mass, which is only one aspect of health. So this is also a reason the statement cannot be concluded. Statement three, although in the first 24 weeks, the very low calorie diet is the most effective weight loss method in the trial, the graph does not continue to 50 weeks. So we cannot assume that this trend would continue. Statement four, the red line between weeks 12 and 24 is flattened at minus 14% change in weight, which is a plateau in terms of weight loss. Statement five, this study is conducted in overweight men and women and not in obese men and women. We do not know what intervention will work best in this group, thus the answer is no. Okay, well done for having a go at that. Hopefully you did not find this one too hard. Don't be intimidated by graphs. If not, don't worry, more practice will help you get there quicker. Okay, let's have a go at one more question. This time we're going to interpret a table. Have a go at the following question. You have one minute. Okay, let's go through the answers. Statement one, in the percentage change column, 
all values for each metro are more negative than minus 2%. Be careful as the minus 0.7% you can see does not correspond to a particular metro area, so is excluded from this assessment. That value refers to the 100 largest metro areas combined. Statement two, minus 4.5% is the most negative number in the change column. Statement three, although in the poverty rate column, Augusta Richmond country has a higher poverty rate, 15.5% than Greensboro High Point, 15.1%. This only tells us the proportion of people living in poverty in each area. The population size of each area is not mentioned, so the actual number of people living in poverty for each area is unknown. We must put no. Statement four, there is no mention of 2018. You cannot assume that this decrease in poverty will continue to decrease after 2017. Watch out for these little date shifts. Statement five, 13.8% plus 2.3% equals 16.1%. The rate dropped from 16.1% to 13.1% between 2016 and 17. Well done. We have interpreted two conclusion drawing questions that included a graph and a table respectively. Now you should hopefully feel more confident in tackling these questions yourself. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.